Hey, we all come in. This is Tech Tips and Tricks here today. I haven't done a video in a good while, and uh, I like to, you know, show you guys uh, new tricks and whatever, right? So I know for us, a lot of you guys, it is a scary thought to to switch over to uh, Premiere Pro 2017, like I have just recently done myself. And so I figured, you know what? let's show you guys on how to do basic editing this is going to be a very beginners uh, video uh, showing you how to start editing and stuff like that and I'll probably do more segments on it this is just going to be a super super basic uh, way of how to edit this is basically what it's going to look like when you uh, first open it up obviously you're not going to have this section in here but this is what we're usually going to do we're going to go ahead and click on new project then you want to give it a name for this sake we're just going to say test I'm just going to leave everything else exactly the way it is and click OK and then you're going to be greeted with this window just like this now it can be daunting for some of you guys that have no experience of editing or anything like that or you come from a different program it's totally different right so what I usually do is I like to create folders to make it a little easier so what I usually go is I go in this box right here the bottom here where you see a folder it says new bin I don't know why they couldn't say folder but that's the way it is so you want to always title stuff because that makes it easier for you to uh, remember later where you had all your stuff in right so for instance we're just going to say test and test one and then what I'm going to do is double click on that and that brings up a section like this and you can even make more folders in there if you want but I'm not going to do that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go highlight these video files and then I'm going to drag them into the uh, box right in here and that imports them just like that and so I'm going to also import files into that folder as well and I'm going to show you how to do picture in picture in this tutorial as well and I'm also going to show you how to sync up audio and stuff like that so you guys get the whole spiel so how you're going to do this is basically I want this to be my bigger picture so what I do is I just grab and drag it right into this box right here then it will appear right here let me just go and maybe grab the uh, the uh, second one here let me just go ahead and oops I did a click double clicked on it so I wanna go ahead and drag that one in there that's a better picture right there and now you're probably wondering right here why you can't see the video really it just looks like a plain file right so you want to just hold your mouse right there and just scroll up and down with your little thing on your mouse and that will make it bigger so now you can ease it's easier for you to do some editing right so then I'm gonna go ahead and drag in this file here as well which I've used two cameras to record this on my other channel that I have well now you wanna know how to resize this right so all you gotta do is double click on that center video then you can go ahead and resize it to any size you like and position it at any corner or anywhere you would like it to be at I'm just gonna do it just like that then just double click on it so that way the blue line disappears out of that and how you zoom into this here so it makes it a little easier to add it is either you grab this little bar right here at the end and you can either zoom it in like that or you can use the uh, plus and minus buttons like I'm doing right now I usually like to zoom in into about the second level and so that's uh, listen to this as you guys could hear it's not lined up whatsoever and this is usually where you know if you were to edit 
let's say with uh, two cameras or, or whatever and one camera has a better audio than the other one so if you want to sync up the audio all you gotta do is uh, hold shift and that highlights both of these clips then right click on them hit synchronize and then you want to make sure it's under the audio and then you can select whichever track you want the audio to be synced for me it don't matter really so I just hit OK and look at that it syncs it up so then what I do is I just hold the mouse right there click on it drag it up to there click on there and hit the backspace now let's listen to that again that should be nicely lined up now. I have now just went that's pretty good I would say so then to make sure I don't have two audio files in there is I usually go to the bottom one because I, I like the center one better it might be different for you I want to unlink it so that way I can actually delete the uh, uh, the uh, audio file so you can hit the back or delete button either way it will delete it so there you go so that is pretty simple now there is a uh, uh, a lot to do with shortcut uh, on the keyboard in order to make your editing easier and the way I usually do it is uh, I'll show you right here if you go under edit there is a short a keyboard shortcut section in here and you can learn all your shortcut keys they are all in here and they explain them exactly what they all do so go through them and learn them and get comfortable with them because that's going to make your life a lot easier to do editing so let's go ahead and show you a little bit on how I do the uh, editing here let's go up to, I have see my audio starts right there so I want to maybe you know cut this junk out right here right so this is where it comes in handy with the uh, shortcut keyboard uh, letters so all I gotta do is hit the Q and that brings it all the way to the end and that cut both of my video files at the same time and deleted the junk out of there so no longer do I have any junk in there see I have now just, just like that the same thing if you go all the way to the end of the clip and let's say let's find the end point Go. see I'm right about there is where I want the uh, video file to end right you see where my video files actually end over here right well because my line is right here all I gotta do is hit the W you see that deleted all the junk out of there and that's how you edit and that will help you a lot if you memorize those uh, shortcuts on the keyboard because then you don't have to actually go in here and use the razor and cut and then you know click on there again and then delete them all separately and stuff like that you know like that that's just one way of for me to make it a lot easier and I like to add a little color to these so where you can do that is go right here to the top where it says color you want to make sure you select the one that you actually want to adjust the color a little bit and you can do that automatically so you see how that changed the colors it was only a gradual change but I like to go a little bit brighter and then raise up the contrast a little bit raise the highlights a little bit maybe make the shadows a little bit uh, up here and then I select this area and I hit that little key that's right before the one that's just got like a little like a comma kind of line and that makes the screen big just like that and you can see it really nicely and to restore it back to uh, normal size you just hit that button again and we'll bring it back just like that to go back to your editing section is basically just go hit the edit right here that will bring it right back into your editing section and uh, I also have a lot of presets in here as you guys can probably see right here let me just uh, move uh, this one here let me just move this one back into place and all I gotta do is because I have already saved them in here 
basically grab it and drag it in its position where I like to have it at, right? And uh, yeah, so there's a lot of ways you can do editing. This program is really nice and handy to have. How you can save those uh, those settings is basically, let's say, if you have a preferred uh, setting. Uh, let me see here. I forgot exactly how I had to do that, but yeah, it's been a while since I've <laughs> done this. But anyways, uh, under effects is be pretty much where you go. Uh, I just remember that now. And you see the position right here. You basically want to right click on the uh, on that section right there where it says video effect and then you can save the presets just like that then you don't always have to manually go in there and uh, change it to where you want to go right so let me go back to my editing section here and now if you want to render this section all you got to make sure is that you click on this box right here so now you see the blue line around it then you can either do it two ways. You can either hit Control M, remember the shortcuts, that will bring up this section just like this, and you can hit the export, or you know you can go ahead and play around with the settings. You can go and play whatever settings you like. I usually use the H.264 because that's the MP4 file, and then you can choose your your bit rate or whatever kind of stuff you would like. I usually have mine set at 4K because I, you know, shoot usually most of my stuff in 4K. So you can go ahead and find your settings. This is basically 4K for YouTube right here. And uh, or the other way you can do that if you're not comfortable or if you forgot the uh, shortcut which was Control M, then you can just make sure that you are selected in here, right? And then go under Files under export and hit media and it will bring up the same box so that's how you guys do it it's very simple to do guys I know it's very challenging at the beginning I know it was for me too it took me a good while to learn how to do all this stuff editing and stuff like that and uh, now I have finally gotten it and I wanted to show you guys and so uh, I can definitely show you guys more stuff if you guys would like to know more about all kinds of different things uh, in the editing part then uh, leave me a comment down below so we look forward to seeing you on the next one